ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Social media right now is arguing on if Diddy has something to do with her house burning down. Well, it didn't burn down, but it caught on fire. Or Russell Simmons. Because Kamora Lee has been out here kind of spilling tea. So there's been all types of conspiracies on TikTok with people trying to figure out if Kamora Lee, um, if Diddy or Russell are after her. So we're going to go ahead and watch this TikTok video. Because she came out recently. Matter of fact, let me show, let me read this to y'all real quick. So this happened the other day in case you guys didn't know. Um, let me see if I can zoom in on this. Kamora Lee says... My house caught fire. The kids and I are fine. I cannot express enough of my deepest gratitude to the numerous battalion ladders and units that, uh, that attended to us for many hours today and quite possibly saved our lives. Thank you. So you guys, you guys see that. Folks are saying that somebody threw a Molokov uh, cocktail in her fireplace. They're sending her a warning shot. So we're going to go ahead and watch this video really quick. So I think it's time that we start to talk about this fire that took place at Kamora Lee's house on Saturday. And before you say don't start, I am. And I'll be honest, I was a little reluctant about talking about this because I wanted more information to come out, but in all honesty, it doesn't seem like much is coming out. So what we know is that Kamora addressed that her and her kids are safe, that there was a fire that took place at her house around 5 a.m. It is believed that her youngest son, who is eight years old, Woofley, actually found and notified everybody about this fire. As you can see, it looks like the fire started at the fireplace which makes sense and would make many people think that this wasn't a malicious or deviant act. But allegedly, some people are very kind of frightful and feel a little fearful for Gamora because of her having such strong ties to this guy's past and knowing so much about her best friend's past and her other friend's past and knowing what this book was all really about. So I will admit, even though Kamara Ali is saying that this fire is like no big deal, a lot of people are a little bit scared for her right now. Actually, with all this going on, and there's a lot of media attention going around, and Kamara has also been very vocal about I tried to, you know, look the other way for things, and turn the other cheek and I don't know I sometimes feel like um some of those things come back to haunt you over time all right let me come back on the screen child so y'all just heard that a lot of people are really thinking that there's more to this story because Kamora Lee was best friends with Kim Porter who is Diddy's baby's mother who died about three years ago I believe maybe longer than that and so, and also their other friend died as well, who wrote that book called Bling. And so when Cassie came out with everything against Diddy, Kamora Lee was basically like sending subliminals, subliminals shots towards Diddy, saying that the truth, you know, will set you free. And, you know, she was going to start like some type of woman's thing for like women who were victims so that way they can share their story. So it seems like Kamora Lee is no longer protecting the men in her life, i.e. one being Diddy, who was her best friend's, you know, man. Um, and then Russell Simmons, because remember when Russell Simmons allegations first hit, you know, she wrote a bunch of bullshit. It was just she was basically speaking in cursive like, yeah, you know, um, this is a man I've known for a long time. She had a lot of excuses for Russell and it made a lot of people give her the side eye. Because again, when people bring up the age difference between her and Russell, it was always y'all are just jealous. Y'all just don't want me to live my best life. And it's like, well, no, we kind of feel bad for you because you was getting dicked down at 15 by a 35 year old. But I digress. Your mama allowed it. So I think now she's done protecting these men. I think now, you know, she's seeing like protecting them, it doesn't do anything for her. 
And I just find it very, very just ironic that all this stuff is coming out. And then on top of it, we know Diddy likes to blow up shit. You see, you know, Kid Cudi co-signed everything that Cassie said that Diddy, you know, blew up his car in his driveway. Thank goodness Kid Cudi wasn't in the car. So a lot of people are really side-eyeing Diddy right now. They're like, you know, was there a possibility that, you know, he doesn't want Kamorley to say anything else, to insinuate anything? Because if she was to come out against him or to even speak on something, you know, that might really end him. Because she definitely knows where all the bones are buried. You know, so again, this is just internet speculation. I'm not accusing anybody of anything because I have no proof. But that's just what these internet streets are saying. Some people think that Diddy may have been behind it. Other people think that it's Russell Simmons. Because you know Russell Simmons, he lost that lawsuit against Kamora Lee. And he owes Kamora Lee $100,000. Remember, that's when they got into it a few months ago. And she was putting out all his business. Said the man was gay. Uh, you know, finally admitted that he groomed her. And they ain't been cool since. So did Russell Simmons, you know what I'm saying, send some goons? To hit her house with a Molotov cocktail? I don't know. But it's very interesting that all of a sudden, you know, her, her damn chimney and fireplace are just blowing up mysteriously. So from what I'm hearing, she doesn't want anybody to know where she and her kids are living, which is smart. And then also, let's not forget the white dude, her, her last baby daddy. Um, that, that scammer who owes everybody a bunch of money too. You know, they fell off. Could he be sending shots at her as well? Because again, she knows where the bones are buried. So she has a lot of shady men around her. So even, you know, the, the crazy white baby daddy, who's a, you know, fake billionaire, he could have been sending her a warning shot too, child. So I don't know. I just find the whole situation just insane. But we'll have to wait to see, you know, what else comes out of this. But I'm glad that she is okay, though. All jokes aside, I'm glad that she and her beautiful family are all okay because that is just scary, you know what I mean, to, like, even have to deal with something like that. So we'll just have to, like, wait and see, you know, what, what ends up um, coming out of all of this. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.